All right, y'all, we're about to upgrade this computer from its tiny 256 gigabyte SSD to a full one terabyte NVMe SSD. Let's go. This is the NVMe we're using. It is the 970 Evo Plus. Check that guy out. It's from Samsung. I'll have it in the description below the like button. And if you don't have tools, we also got this little tool set. So we have standoffs, little screwdriver. We, we ready. This man literally needed to take a picture of his rear I.O. on his pre-built computer, mind you, so he's not like too savvy with it, but he, he just, I saw the flash and yeah. <laughs> Those are all his precious cables. Now the computer is right here. It's easy to access, which is perfect for us. The first thing that we're going to need to do is take off the side panel. So take off the side panel. It's just two thumb screws. It's gonna come off. You need to find an NVMe slot. So this one up here is being taken up by, okay, it wasn't 256, it's a 500 gigabyte one, but it's not a whole lot. So if we look underneath our graphics card, check that out, you guys see the slot yet? I'll give you two seconds. One, two, it's right there on the bottom right there. All you were gonna do is use our flashlight to light up the area just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and take our NVMe right here. It already has a standoff installed right here. So that's raised, that's super good. Now, sometimes your motherboard will include a screw that goes in here, or you can just buy one. They're like M2 screws. I mean, it depends per motherboard, but it's usually M2. And you're gonna want to very gently, cause she's a delicate one, take your NVMe SSD. It's sometimes easier if the computer's flat, but either way, it doesn't really matter too much. And you see that slot, that little slot right there, that guy right there. All you're gonna want to do is put it in. The easiest way to do it is at an angle. You just shove her in like that. That. Make sure she's all the way in and from there you're going to use one hand and press it down as you screw in the screw It's going to hold it to the motherboard And boom don't over tighten it too much this screw is literally just to hold it there But yeah, you can see the screw you can see your NVMe and it's slotted in now We might have to format it So we'll set the computer back up and get into the software portion All right, also with the m2 NVMe in we can close up the side panel and put all of his precious cables back into the IO ports now This monitors it didn't like turn on even when we had the cables plugged in this computer is weird man so we just had to keep plugging and unplugging the HDMI cables until the displays all finally lit up. It had to be in a specific order that it was set up on. I, I don't, don't ask me. I just, I'm just here to set up the NVMe. We're going to go into file explorer and we're gonna see if we can see the drive. It's probably going to be a no. So we don't see the drive. So once you're in the windows menu, that little guy right there, you're gonna right click it. From there, you're gonna go to disk management. Okay, and then check this out. It immediately kind of knew that a new disk was installed. So we're gonna leave it as GPT, press okay, and it should show up. You might have to scroll down. Oh, no, it was it's disk zero. It's right at the beginning, there you go. 931.50 gigabytes, we have a terabyte. It's online. We need to create a new volume. Next, whole thing. Next, assign a drive letter. That's the important part. That's why it's not showing up. Is there any specific letter that you favor? Uh... D it is. Next, we're gonna leave NTFS, default, new volume, quick format is good. And we'll click next and click finish. From there, it should be pretty instantaneous, especially if it's an SSD. So file manager, ah, there you go, boys. More storage, look at this. That's so cluttered. It's like, ah, help me, help me. Oh, no worries, baby. Got you covered. And I got you covered. So if you like that video, go go leave a like and subscribe if you want to. If you don't want to, then you can not like and not subscribe. But I would appreciate it if you at least leave a like.